Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Capgemini exam. Today I am going to cover most of the chapters, most of the subjects which are going to be appeared in your exam. Okay, like essay writing, technical questions and then coding. Okay, so at first let me clear your some confusions that is in essay writing what you have to do. So let's say in these days they are mainly asking questions related to latest technology like artificial intelligence. Okay, so this is not only the uh, like important part also related to your lifestyle, your life uh, biography. They will ask questions, right? Like uh, let's say uh, your habit. Okay, they can ask uh, essay writing from this topic as well. So mainly, uh, I mean they are focusing on latest technology. Okay, so more focus on those okay and also regarding company culture okay and your advices like this way they are asking the essay writings okay so let's say you are asked one essay writing let's say art ai okay artificial intelligence so i am not fully sure but still i think the system i mean the ai will check your answer of essay okay so that means they will morally focus on your uh, like variation of words and the punctuations if there is any uh, mistake in spellings or like let's say you, how many paragraphs you are writing these will be counted okay so these are the matter whichever will be in the uh, I mean, they, there will be the parameter okay so let's say you have read you have to write the topic ai okay so you just make sure that you written you have written the introduction okay intro then you have written uh, the body and also you have written the conclusion okay conclusion so you don't uh, you don't have to write directly in a single paragraph okay focus on paragraphization so that uh, the, uh, paragraph will be counted how many paragraph you have written and how many words you have written these are very much important okay so i hope you will give importance whatever i have said in this okay and if let's say the topic is not from your expected uh, topic or let's say this is from out of your mind okay so you just at first uh, try to uh, like uh, point out some uh, important things then start writing whatever you know okay you don't have to panic like uh, this is not from my known subject no known topic so you don't have to panic on that you just have to write something okay the, the variation of words will be counted whatever you have written related to that topic okay so i hope you understood and this is also same for the communication round as well variation of words matter okay okay so let's talk about the technical things like uh, technical questions so in this uh, round i mean technical round mainly pseudo code are the game changing game changer okay so focus on pseudo code because mostly i think 25 pseudo code questions will be there so these are game changing okay so focus on pseudo code very much and let's say uh, the second part from technical is like from tsa they will ask questions okay let's say you will be mostly asked from uh, let's say uh, sorting algorithms okay so let's say you will be given one array okay you will be given one array and you will be asked let's say you have to sort this in ascending order using bubble sorts then how much swapping is needed okay so this way they will ask let's say they will ask also mart from march sort quick sort okay also from time complexity they will ask okay and let's say the questions will be from post fix in fix prefix this way like sorry two uh then three sorry three star as sorry slash so this way they will maybe ask you questions okay post fix in fix so what will be the output and let's say from if we convert this from post fix to in fix then what will be the uh, outcome so this way they'll ask and also from pre-order post order convert uh, okay so please focus on these chapters okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the coding part so actually these are i mean mainly technical questions are being repeated so if you want these repeated questions then please knock me at my study instagram.com slash techno.ef 
these are all covered in our prime materials so if you want those then please damn okay this is paid but very affordable okay so let's talk about the coding questions which are very important and like these are coming again and again okay so at first finding factors at first you will be given one integer okay and you will be asked whatever uh the factors it has just print those okay like in this way so i hope you understood then the next will be uh like from maximum marks in each semester so the first sample input will be the number of semesters then the number of subjects in each semester then the uh, marks in each semester okay marks in each semester then actually these are the this is the array you have to find the max of the array okay max of the array so in this case the maximum is 70 in this case the second uh, semester the maximum is 98 then in the third semester 89 so your output should be the max of those okay 70 98 70 sorry 89 so this way you have to find your output so i hope you understood so i am requesting you to please solve the questions and give the answers in your convenient programming language maybe it let's say c plus plus java or python okay so let's go to the next question that is regarding valleys in hiking path okay so actually this is not the questions which will be repeated i am confirming okay I am confirming you that the questions will be related to these. So basically in these questions what you have uh, learned that the maximum of array or smallest of array this type of questions are being asked. So you can expect this type of questions. Okay. Not directly this question. Okay. Let's say this is the question hiking path. Okay. And in this question you are given this. This is the string and this is the output. How? So this is the upwards and this is the downwards okay so how many upwards are there and how many downwards are there so you have to just subtract that and you have to return it so upwards are one two three four five and downwards are four so five minus four is one that's why output is one okay so basically here the task is count of characters occurrence of characters okay so these are the sample template question the count of characters uh like occurrence of characters then uh, count of vowels count of something okay count of something this is the motto of the question so basically you can expect a count of something from question okay so if you can solve the problem then give the answer okay in the comment section so that i'll be motivated okay and please guys if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe because this motivates me to make more content on this okay so if you found this video helpful and valuable then also share this content with your friend so that more engaging will be there okay so the next question will be from longest increasing uh, subsequence okay so this is the advanced question and this is the like very common questions in every exam whatever regardless of your company like Accenture or cognizant or let's say capgemini LT or whatever okay so this is the very common questions which will be asked which may be asked to, to you okay that means you will be given one array okay array of integer you have to find the length of the longest subsequence or you can be asked like directly print the longest subsequence okay just you have to uh, act accordingly if you have asked if you have been asked to print the length of the longest subsequence you just have to print the one integer and if you have been asked to print whole array which is uh, the so longest subsequence so you have to print the whole array okay so in this case the longest subsequence is 10 sorry uh yeah 10 22 then 33 then 50 then 60 then 80 so this is the longest subsequence so that's why output is 6 okay so length of this is 6 that's why output is 6 so i hope you understood so let's go to the next question that is matrix spiral order so basically you will be given a 3 cross 3 matrix or 2 cross 3 3 cross 3 uh, 3 cross 2 this way you will be given matrices and you have to print the matrix value in spiral order in this way 1 2 3 6 9 
8745 okay so basically you have to go through all the elements of the 2d array okay okay so let's go to the next question that is from palindrome so basically uh, in palindrome they will they may not ask you directly from palindrome okay they may not ask you question from palindrome directly they will ask questions palindrome related okay that means let's say you are given t h r e okay so let's say sorry let's say the string is techno uf okay so if this is the string you will be asked make it palindrome make it palindrome okay so this is the question so you have to you just you have to know the concept of palindrome uh, i hope you know that the string which is same from uh, start to end and end to start these are palindrome like sasa okay sorry sasas so in this case uh, from first to end and end to first th this uh, end to start these are all same okay so that's why this is the palindrome so you have to make this string palindrome so what you will do that is uh, after that you have you have to sorry after that f you have to print u sorry uh, add u o n k e t so this way you have to make a string palindrome so i mean variation of palindrome questions can be asked okay so the next question from prime number so these are very obvious that prime number questions will be there so i am again telling you that from directly not prime number but prime number related so in essential exam also they have not directly asked prime number they asked questions related to uh, prime number that means they have uh, given us array okay they have given an array and they have told that you have to print uh, the sum of the uh, array element which are existing which are residing in prime index so basically you know you have to know the prime number concept okay and you have to implement that in this problem okay so i hope you understood okay so i hope you know the uh, solutions of palindrome solutions of prime number still if you don't know then please you can tell me in the comment section that you don't know then i'll make a separate video on those so if you want all those solutions and if you want all those repeated questions then please knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash this is paid but very affordable prime materials in which i have included all the necessary things okay so i hope you will give importance thank you for today's session